it is from Uko's clan. This is Kid Chillin. And his opponent. An interesting name here, as you can already see it. Our red Terran player in the top left side. It is going to be Terran you up. We know. We get the joke, right? Uh, no issues there. As we have an interesting position for our barracks. Even more interesting. Okay, so this is going to be quite... Quite an interesting situation if Kit Chillen just gets uh, gets over there and just sees nothing down there, nothing on the low ground and nothing on the high ground. He has to dive deep with the Overlord and that's going to be 100% an Overlord sack if you ask me. So we'll see how that unfolds if he takes the bait. Now this is a standard opener. If you don't know Kit Chillen, um, you should go and and search him up. It's the same name on, on Twitch. He he streams, I would say, quite often. Um, usually I catch him in the morning. Well, early in the morning, actually. Uh, if I want to be honest. But, a really solid streamer. Literally, what the name says is, is always chilling. So, he's, he's a chill gamer. He, he always loves to deep... Uh, take a deep dive into the strategy his uh his self-critical he accepts the criticism well criticism i usually whenever i hang out in this chat uh whether i'm talking or not because uh, it's early in the morning i'm not always in a talkative mood to do that but whenever i hang out uh in his chat i feel like uh he's self-aware of his his own mistakes is always uh trying to improve and, and trying to present some good games to to the chat so yeah overall super solid twitch.tv forward slash kid chillin to go and watch him whenever you can i think it's like uh for north american viewers or like america's <laughs> server enjoyers he's on quite late in the night and for us european fans he's is on early the morning okay and this is gonna be quite interesting so first cyclone is spotted second cyclone coming up there's no third cyclone queued up yet um there is money though so i'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen uh command center on the high ground spotted second overlord will not advance too far and we have three queens um now the question is always how much uh, how how much can you get away with uh, droning? Like, what's what's the amount of drones that you can get away with? As we have double tech lab actually, so this could be to be honest, could be anything. We're going into three CC after this, so this is kind of wild. I like the Terran build order honestly because it creates a lot of chaos. So uh, they say Zerg uh, tries in chaos, but let's be honest here, like. Whenever you have no idea, because you want to react to it, right? You're not you're not uh, upset if the game goes uh, into a more chaotic uh, way. But the biggest problem is that if you don't know how to react and you react with the wrong units, then you're basically screwed. So we're gonna have a quick four gases and the safety roach horn. If I want to be exact, let's see if it gets roach speed. If it gets roach speed, then probably it's gonna be a bit more committal. Uh, but obviously off of four gases you can go into mutas as well which would not be bad at all uh we have two extra factories so we're gonna go up to a four fact opener over here on the side of our terran and the quick third command center uh relatively late but i'd say i i'd say it's a bit faster third command center later natural but faster third command center will actually even out the odds um when it comes to like the income and the mining now still the terran is is far behind in, in mining we can see that because it's 42 workers to 25. but obviously uh mules exist those are going to close the gap a tad bit as infernal pre-igniter is on the way so i kind of like this and we don't have I guess we're gonna have add-ons on these uh, on these factories. I would assume that this is going to be um, some kind of interesting of a reactor play. There we go. Okay, 
We have an armory, so Hellbat, uh, Hellbat tech is going to be available. This barracks is not out to, to spot anything, but it's going to kind of like tell Kid Chilling what's going on over here. Ooh, okay, beautiful files on the first cycle. That is nice. I, I dig it, I dig it. Okay, he's going to bio down a couple of these SCVs, gets one mule. That is going to be uh, quite worth it. Other tanks are going to siege up on the low ground, and I believe this is going to be the end of this uh, aggression. As he needs to get away if he can with the Raptors. He's gonna get the few other ones in the corner sniped. But it is what it is, it happens to the best. Now, the Terry is actually mining a lot of gas. Let me saturate it on the natural. Um, mining off of four gases on 31 workers. That means you're basically, or actually, is mining off <laughs> with four and three in the natural. So even less of a. So even less efficient. Now. This screams mech, obviously, uh, especially if you see the, the gases, and Kitchelly saw the gases, so, oh, okay, so this is something I actually saw today, uh, this morning on his stream, he gets, gets OB speed, he gets a dropper lord, and he transports queens, and just spreads creep across the map, that is so, so, so good, like, it's going to force a Terran to, to burn a scan, it's going to force a lot of things actually over here. Uh, those are three queens, and, and look at this. It's going to spread the, the creep, and it's going to unload the queens, and it's going to just spread even more creep. It's going to drop like two to three tumors, I suppose. Like, this is just a solid way to actually do something. Obviously, if this gets caught, um, I, I saw it. I saw it today, what could happen, and honestly, if this gets caught, then obviously it's going to be really really painful but this will actually give you information about the terran's move out and everything else now terran is like oh my goodness what is this what is this uh, we, we don't even want to use those bad words right because there's no reason but he's like oh what is this mess on my floor right like look at this creep spread this is beautiful but he needs to get away from here. Oh, he's gonna get his queens caught. He's gonna get his queens caught. Oh, that is going to be so painful. That's 450 minerals. Oh, but he's going to lose the dropper lord as well. He's gonna lose another overlord potentially. Terran doesn't spot it, but he's now gonna have to clean the creep. That's gonna be a couple of scans if he wants to clean the creep entirely. Obviously, the Terran doesn't know about. Oh, might know about this side too as well. Could be the case. As Kid Chillin is on four bases. I really don't like this fourth base, honestly. I think this one is a bit easier to defend, but who am I to actually contradict? Problem is, I don't like it because this base can be sieged up. <laughs> Zerk is in front now. <laughs> yep, that is indeed true. But look at this mech army. This mech army has a huge potential. That's plus one attack, but there is plus one melee and plus one missile as well on the side of Kid Chillin. And we're already on high tech. Uh, adrenal glands just started and we're gonna have bailing speed as well so that's not going to be that bad now obviously bailing speed needs to finish in order for this engagement to be okay uh help us do very poorly against bailings there we go finally manages to do something he's gonna lose a couple of overlords it's gonna be a massive supply block on the side of kid chilling as this Terran is down 30 supply but is going to try and push through this i'm not sure if this is the best option for our Terran player but obviously the Cyclones and if the tanks manage to siege up, it's going to be really, really painful. It's going to have to give up this base. It's going to do so. Oh, that's actually beautiful. Just targeting the drone and then just destroying his own Cyclone. All right. What do we have here? Do we have any spellcasters? No, but we have victim bailings morphing in the back somewhere. There we go. There they are. Adrenal is not yet done. Obviously, unless the Hellbats are cleaned up, it's not as wise to get links as it is to get Bailings. Bailings don't benefit from Adrenal. Bus 2 is not yet done, obviously. Now I want to see Kitchell and just try to defend this uh, this north side base. He's going to roll a couple of Bailings in. He's going to pile down the tank. And a couple of nice Bailings just hit some units here and there. But is this going to be enough for Kitchelly to hold? Yes, that's two tanks actually. Almost three tanks. One more bio will seal the deal over there. One more tank will 
siege up on the bottom of those stairs. And there's a macro hatch as well. That's something that we didn't talk about. So that's going to help out quite a lot. One more nice pile and honestly... Ooh, oh, I love this play. Oh my god. Please tell me he's going to do what I think he's going to do. Oh, there's no anti-air anymore. There's no anti-air. He's going to do exactly what the Terrans and, and probably Protoss in Brood War do. Or actually even Protoss in Starcraft too. It's going to drop on top of the tanks. It's going to negate the effect of the range. And the massive range is not going to be of any use. Ravager drops on top of the tanks. Beautifully done here by Kid Chillin. What a way to actually defend this. This is a beautiful and creative way. I love this play, honestly. Wow, that was that was really sick, honestly. <laughs> that that was extremely cool. Oh my god. Okay, so guys, this is a master street player, by the way. Imagine this is the creative ways that you can play StarCraft players. Like the Terran got outplayed indeed. Oh, look at that. The tank, the tank was actually not even in uh, that that stairs position here was was really really bad. Like the units were too close, but it, when they got in range, yeah, yeah, everything just crumbled for for tearing you up. As Kitchelin is now gonna see the creep over here and on the creep, the turn on the creep is going to go in and he's attacking for three angles. Tanks are good if you attack from one angle, but actually attacking from two angles is going to make it harder for the tanks to target fire. So whatever gets on top of the tanks, it's going to actually mean quite a devastating blow. Oh, that's going to be a couple of vials. There we go. He's going to clean up the tanks and then the cyclones and, and the Hellions basically are just free farm here. This Kitchelin is going to clean up this whole mess but there's more cyclones there's six hellions and four tanks producing at once spire is on the way as well as plus two missile respectively plus three melee as well also i'm gonna go back into roaches i am not exactly sure is that what you want like uh, i guess so until until there's a huge amount of uh, tanks probably it's gonna be more for ravagers but now that the spire is actually on the way there's going to be a huge demand, uh, there's going to be a huge demand on gas, so it's going to be a bit more difficult to do something with, uh, with Ravagers, Bailings, my goodness, that's a lot of gas in the bank, by the way, I just realized, so, actually, you know what, Kid Chilling can do whatever he wants with this, uh, composition, this, it's going to have enough for Mutas, it's going to have enough for Ravagers and Bailings, oh, look at that, the Bailings are going to connect! Oh, that was a couple of SCVs over here. That was an oversaturation. A massive oversaturation, actually. So, uh, yeah. That's 14 SCVs down, but 29 cycles and 15 tanks. That is amazing. I mean, 12 Hellions. That's something that you might might have seen already. But, like, oh, it's going to morph the Hellbats. But these two spies are actually brilliantly placed here. It's going to even transfuse one of them. And now the tanks are falling. Does Terran York have enough to break through this, or was this a mistake? He's going to lose all the Cyclones. And now there's a couple of, couple more tanks, but Kitchen has the defender's advantage. Plus three vehicle weapons is halfway done. This is a bit of an anti-timing. I'm not even sure if you can actually afford to wait, but I'm not even sure if you can actually afford to attack. So probably turtling up with tanks and, and maybe Taurus eventually would be the play. There's no Spire units yet, but oh, once again, we are going to see late drops, Ravager drops, cleaning up the tanks. These are disposal units for Kid Chillin, and he's going to move up, and he's going to finish up this last tank. One last shot, but it will seal the deal, and now the Hellbats are also in danger. He doesn't even have to back. I think he can fight this, and that is going to be indeed the case. He's going to fight these, and he's going to fight back the Terran. 15 minutes in, Kid Chillin defended everything so far that has been thrown at him a couple of tanks will see job that is a lot of tanks actually still double tank production and four cyclones like this is amazing wow oh, this is a bit of a visual bug over here the bottom right side 
Oh, but once again, the Bailing's rolling through with a couple of Ravagers accompanying them. Link Bane Ravager is the style that I heard today that he doesn't really like, but my goodness, he plays it at a very awesome pace. So. Oh, there's a bit of a, an interesting situation. A couple of Links are trapped inside this Overlord's belly. But look at this. Kitchelen is consuming the map. He is expanding, expanding, expanding. There's one more of quote unquote his bases that you can take, but already it is a the six, soon to be seven hatchery Zerg uh, versus a yeah a four base Terran. So the worker count speaks for itself, and now that's a lot of damage onto those cyclones. And now the links come in. The cyclones will fight valiantly, but they will get cleaned up. And sooner or later, the money is going to run out on the side of tearing you up. A bit of a link drop into the main is going to get rid of this tech lab. He's going to move back. It's like, okay, it's safer there. He's going to drop it into the third base. That is going to be really, really good for, for uh, Kid Chillin. Oh, he should actually bait a couple of uh, tank shots. There we go. That is beautiful here. Look at that. Two SCVs remaining. Oh, wow. 14 tanks. Okay. Eight cyclones on the way. Eight aliens as well. Wow. This is amazing. But there's going to be 12 Broodlords. A lot of Broodlords should finish up, right? A lot of them should finish up. The only issue is that Kitchelin is not aware of this, but yeah, he's going to lose this base. He has to give up this base. Obviously, there's no way to, to run away from that. A couple of Broodlords will morph on the left side. A couple of them on the right side. Um, I'm not exactly a fan of, uh, of Broodlords crossing the map because they are very, very slow. But a lot of this is on the ground. I mean, sorry, a lot of this cannot shoot up is what I'm trying to say here. And now Kitchelin is going to spot it. Let's see if he's going to gauge directly into this. Uh, potentially, he has to, right? I mean, he has a superior army. He has uh, the plus two missile attack as well. He doesn't have any air upgrades. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, the Broodlords, the Broodlings, sorry, uh, have the, the benefit from from uh, missile attacks as well. I can think. Or melee attacks? I'm not sure. Somebody in the chat uh, could correct me on this one. Because I'm never sure, to be honest. Maybe it's the Locusts that benefit from missile? I, I guess it would make more sense. Uh, but yeah, anyways... <laughs> Yeah, melee makes more sense. Yeah, that's true. Thank you, Samuel. But this is a very amazing. Oh my goodness, bailing drops. <laughs> oh my god, that was a huge amount of uh, dropper loads sent across the map. Kind of. We kind of missed that, but yeah, the, the end result is the same. A mixing place here by Kid Chillin, and I think this is going to be only a matter of time. One tour is out. Two tours actually wait a second. Four tours. Number five is on the way. The tours are going to be able to actually deal with this. But beautiful kiting here inside of Kitchen. And he has his ground army prepared here. Tours don't do well against Lings. They do okay against Bailings, but these are free units. Oh, he needs to be careful not to drop these. Okay, he's going to take a bit of damage onto those uh, Brood Lords. Are these on high impact though? I cannot tell. Don't think these are on high impact. So the torts have two two modes. One of them I think does splash damage, and the other one just uh, does higher single target damage. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not a tarot expert, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I always try to figure it out, but I so rarely cast mech that it's amazing uh, how. How much I lack this information. And this is going to be a massacre, a clean up here by Kid Chillin. And there's the GG. Both players had a great performance, great movements, but in the end, the kid that is Chillin is going to take it. Now, for those who are watching on YouTube, thank you very much for being here. If you're interested, check out the Twitch link in the description as well as my main gaming channel. As we are going to move on with the Twitch crew, be sure to be here live for the next one. Cheers.